right. This private detective sent us a dossier with hundreds of little details. Still, nothing to prove John's the blackmailer. Or to explain the reason why he's after Dad's money. All we know is that someone's pressuring him for money. It's taking really long, and the blackmailer is getting more and more dangerous. We need to do something. I have an idea. My friend Val Corazon invited me to a fashion party. I'll ask John to come with me to discuss my recent job offers. He could use a fashion event. He always looks so boring. But what are you planning to do? Well, I'll watch him closely and try to find some proof. Plus, Val can help corner him if needed. Fine, it's better than doing nothing at all. Just call him. We can't waste any more time. Aren't we reading? Never mind, let me call him. Hi, John. I'm wondering if you'd like to come with me to Val's exclusive fashion event that I told you about. I'm sorry, it must have slipped my mind. But why do you need me there? I'm very busy at the moment. To be honest, I've never been to such a high-end fashion event. I'll feel more confident if my agent is with me. I also want to talk to you about the blackmailing situation. I'm considering their demands. Oh. Okay. I mean, it's a delicate matter. Are you sure? Yes. Peter's legacy matters more than the money. Let's discuss the details at the event. All right. I'll be there so we can talk. See, that was so easy. Why did you wait so long? Now go change. I'll keep reading this huge dossier while you party. We'll make it work, Rose. Great!
my girl you're going to love this party and you must be john right welcome i'm glad to meet you it's nice to meet you too miss carazon she was really looking forward to this party of course i don't get invited to a high fashion event every day but is it just me or is the venue quite warm sorry the ac is broken but we're fixing it now john can i get your jacket you seem uncomfortable indeed the room could use fresh air but thank you, Miss Carson. I'll keep my jacket. Oh, I've got to take this call. So, as you asked, I turned up the temperature. But what's it for anyway? Thanks, Val. You're the best. Rose and I suspect John's up to something, so we're trying to find proof on his phone. Ah, I get it now. He probably keeps his phone in his jacket. But it didn't work. What's your next... Why are you here? Shh, don't draw attention to us. Isn't it obvious? You're supposed to be watching the crook, like a hawk. Ladies, though, I'm super curious with what's going on here. We need to be somewhere more private. Follow me. So, basically, someone's been harassing me, demanding Peter's debt money. We suspect John. What? Your agent is harassing you? That's disgusting. We must do something. How can I help? Finally, a person who gets it. We need to find tangible proof, but no luck so far. Then we must fight back. You know, an eye for an eye. Nobody gets away with harassing my friends. An eye for... Wait, that's it. I'll use his method against him. I'll hide my number and call to threaten him. You think hiding at a fashion event will save you? Coward, this is your last warning. I'm working on it. I'll get the money, I swear. But don't call this number. Okay, another sign that he's in debt and so scared that he didn't even question me. But is he my blackmailer? Little girl, you're playing with fire. I won't ask nicely anymore. Money tomorrow, or game over. Okay, okay. Listen, I'm tired of this. I'll do it. Just give me a few more days. Good. I'll call you to arrange the details. This can't be a coincidence. The harasser called me right after I called John. We need to get to John's phone. Can we think about it in a dressing room? It's so hot here. My makeup is melting. I need a touch-up. And so do you.
Whoa. Great! So girls, I got inspiration from the iconic scene from Gentlemen Prefer Blondes while doing my makeup. I'm not following. Is that a film? The scene where the ladies get the guy drunk and then search him? Great idea, let's do it, now. Seriously, why is she here at this party? I thought better about this brand. I've been a VIP customer for years. I swear, I'll stop buying from you if you work with an opportunist like her. Rose, please, let's not make a scene. Please, we're all just here to dance and celebrate fashion. Oh, really? Then see her out. She's got nothing to do with fashion. John, please help me. I don't know what's gotten into her. Uh, Rose, you... Hm. What the... Oh my god, John. I'm so sorry. That was meant for me. Please. Let me help you get the stain out. It's the least I can do for you. Do a proper cleaning. That's all you're good for. John, I apologize on behalf of the organizers. Let me at least take you to freshen up and clean it. Please, follow me. my good image for the sake of this mission. It better be worth it. Rose, we'll never forget your selfless sacrifice. I promise that we'll restore your image. Ladies, I took John to the bathroom and asked the valet to bring his personal belongings. We'll find out soon. Meanwhile, let's pick your accessories and take some photos at the backdrop together while we wait.
day. Ta-da! I've got John's phones. We have a few minutes. The valet will put them back once we check them. It's a burner phone, just as we suspected. But it's locked. How do we unlock it? Easy. The one and only Marvelous Rose Dake will open it for you. Thank God I hired a detective. And then read the dossier. And now I can open it. Rose, you're the best secret agent in the world. Look, my phone number is there, exactly at the time I got the call. One mystery solved, ladies. I'll let the valet return it. I think we should call the police and report him. Wait, do we report him right away? If the police catch him now, we will never get to the bottom of this. Why did he betray my dad after so many years? I don't really know what to do. We should ask someone experienced. You know what? I'm going to call Evelyn. She's known him for many years. She definitely know what to do. Evelyn, hi. Hope I'm not interrupting anything. It's all right, dear. What's the matter? Are you all right? Actually, I need your advice. Rose and I discovered something about John. He fabricated a story about how Peter has gambling debts and has been blackmailing me. Should we call the police? What are you saying, my dear? There must be a mistake. John's been loyal to Peter all his life. Evelyn, we have a lot of proof. I can show it to you before taking any- Evelyn, we have a lot of proof. I can show it to you before taking any action. 